Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm Joe Nigro at Terracotta World. And today, I have the pleasure of painting the pot of Calibra. Right? Is that what we're doing? C-U-L-E-B-R-A. Now, this is a beautiful flag. It's mostly um, yellow and it's got some green, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this guy in over here and we're going to listen to Calibra because what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this beautiful pot in the likeness of Calibra, right? And it's so beautiful and it's so yellow and it's so green. I wonder where it is. You know, like, where is it in Puerto Rico, Calibra? Right? It seems tranquil. Uh, it's got a weird shape to it. If you if you look at it closer, uh, right there, it's got kind of like a, a little shape to it. I don't know anything about it. But without further ado... Oh, boy. Uh-oh. You know, I love AI. <laughs> we have to we have to try to get our act together because the better our act is, uh the more people will know about the 78 municipalities in Puerto Rico. And that's what we're doing here. We're painting all 78 municipalities from A to Z, if there's a Z, right? Cuz we don't know, right? But right now we're on Calibra. Uh I just like to say uh, shout out to Deco Art. Uh, we hashtag and like Deco Art. Uh, we paint with Deco Art paints. It's important for me to express to you how important it is to me to use Deco Art. Why do I use Deco Art? Well, because I like to say Deco Art. I mean, it's really simple. Hashtag Deco Art at Deco Art. Um, anyways, they're nice people at Deco Art. We're going to talk to them here on the island, but the main, they're in Kentucky, but the main people, whatever. Anyways, um, the other thing that you're going to see is this beautiful pot from Calibra, right? Uh, which we don't really know what Calibra is, right? We don't know where it is or what it is or anything like that. So that's why I got the chat GPT. It's going to go right to my Ziggy. Ziggy, attached to my um, Ziggy. Let's just see if it works, right? And listen to the, uh, well, listen to Calibra. And I'm just going to paint it yellow and hopefully it's like a, a beautiful yellow city. Maybe it has like yellow flowers and our friends at the PR Garden Guide. Um, did we talk about them? We're in collaboration with the PR Garden Guide, right? So I'm going to make this yellow. So maybe the yellow at Calibra, it's got a couple of green things. It's like a green blob which is probably the shape of the municipality. But it's surrounded by yellow, and it has two green stripes. Um, there's a blob, though, right in the middle. Anyways, without further ado, uh, the PR Garden Guide, they're our partners. We're taking all our pots. We have to gift to somebody. So we decided to gift to uh, the PR Garden Guide. We're doing a collaborative effort. I'm doing the pots, and they are putting the plants, the flora, from the area as best they can, right? You, know, you, you can't put a palm tree in there, I don't think. I don't know that, though. Ain't that. But all right, let's listen to Calibra. Oh, and yellow, yellow. It makes you chill out, right? What colors we got? Sun yellow. Oh, I can't wait. Like, I'm a little cold for some reason. And then for the Calibra, we picked pine needle. Um, yeah. All right, without further ado... I'm going to paint and make this terracotta pot look like the flag of Calibra. And you're going to learn all about it right now. Tune in. Uh, if you don't know uh, English, put your closed captions on. Aquí tienes la traducción al español del texto sobre Culebra, Puerto Rico. Culebra, Puerto Rico una isla de tranquilidad y esplendor natural. Culebra es un pequeño municipio insular situado al este de Puerto Rico, 
conocido por sus impresionantes playas, aguas cristalinas y ambiente sereno. Establecido en 1880, Culebra ofrece una escapada tranquila del bullicio del continente, atrayendo a visitantes con su belleza natural y atmósfera relajada, geografía y atracciones naturales. Culebra forma parte de un archipiélago que incluye 23 islas y callos más pequeños, siendo la isla principal la más grande y desarrollada. La geografía de la isla se caracteriza por colinas onduladas, playas de arena y vibrantes arrecifes de coral. Una de las playas más famosas de Culebra es Playa Flamenco, a menudo clasificada entre las mejores playas del mundo. Con su arena blanca, aguas turquesas y excelentes oportunidades para el snorkel, Playa Flamenco es un destino imprescindible para cualquiera que viaje a Culebra. Otras atracciones naturales notables incluyen el Refugio Nacional de Vida Silvestre de Culebra, que cubre una parte significativa de la isla y sus callos circundantes. El refugio alberga una diversa fauna, incluyendo tortugas marinas, aves marinas y diversas especies marinas. Los visitantes pueden explorar los senderos, playas y áreas protegidas del refugio para experimentar la rica biodiversidad de la isla. Significado cultural. El patrimonio cultural de Culebra está estrechamente ligado a su historia y tradiciones marítimas. La isla tiene una pequeña pero vibrante comunidad que celebra su identidad única a través de varios festivales y eventos. Las fiestas patronales de San Ildefonso son una importante celebración anual en honor al santo patrón del pueblo, San Ildefonso. Este festival incluye procesiones religiosas, música, danza y cocina local, reflejando el fuerte sentido de fe y tradición de la comunidad. El arte y la artesanía también son aspectos significativos de la vida cultural de Culebra. Los artesanos locales crean hermosos artículos hechos a mano, incluyendo joyas, cerámica y tejidos, a menudo inspirados en los entornos naturales de la isla. Estas artesanías se exhiben y venden en mercados locales, proporcionando una visión de la creatividad y el talento de la comunidad de Culebra. Actividades económicas. La economía de Culebra se basa principalmente en el turismo, que juega un papel crucial en el desarrollo y sostenibilidad de la isla. Visitantes de todo el mundo vienen a Culebra para disfrutar de sus playas prístinas, puntos de snorkel y buceo y atmósfera tranquila. La industria de la hospitalidad, que incluye hoteles, casas de huéspedes y restaurantes, prospera con la afluencia de turistas, proporcionando oportunidades de empleo y apoyando la economía local. Además del turismo, Culebra tiene una pequeña pero significativa industria pesquera. Los pescadores locales capturan una variedad de mariscos que se venden en mercados y se sirven en restaurantes de toda la isla. La combinación de turismo y pesca asegura una economía local equilibrada y dinámica, apoyando los medios de vida de los residentes de Culebra. Orgullo e identidad. Los habitantes de Culebra sienten un gran orgullo por su isla, celebrando su belleza natural, patrimonio cultural y comunidad unida. La bandera de Culebra simboliza este orgullo, presentando elementos que representan la historia de la isla, sus tradiciones marítimas y paisajes impresionantes. El compromiso de la comunidad de preservar su entorno y tradiciones culturales es evidente en sus festivales, actividades económicas y esfuerzos por proteger sus recursos naturales. Las instituciones educativas en Culebra juegan un papel crucial en fomentar un sentido de comunidad y conciencia cultural. Las escuelas y centros comunitarios a menudo organizan eventos y actividades que destacan la historia y el significado cultural de la isla, asegurando que las futuras generaciones continúen apreciando y defendiendo su patrimonio. Fuentes. Wikipedia, Culebra. Puerto Rico 2, Discover Puerto Rico Culebra. 3, Gobierno local de Culebra. Ahora veamos cómo le está yendo a Joe. Adelante, Joe. Yeah, so ChatGPT, thank you for that dissertation. That was beautiful. It was beautifully done in Spanish. I don't know how you did that, but uh, now, um, unbeknownst to my audience, oh, why did I shut off the light? I don't know, I was like, I'm like here, right? And I'm like just relaxing and the, it's wicked late at the office, right? It's like sunset time. Uh, you can see through the um, hurricane barriers there. Um, anyways, uh, This, this Calibria, this yellow, it, it kind of makes me feel like I should be like, uh, I don't know, doing a slow dance with you or something. It's, it's kind of sexy. It's kind of nice. 
There's something about Calibria, uh, the green, the yellow. I don't know what that thing just said, but uh, there's some yellow there, right? Yeah, let's 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 try that again. Maybe they'll do it in English. And let me keep working on this because the yellow, the yellow is something that I feel will be really really nice on this terracotta pod. I poured some in the middle. Get like some crackling effect inside there. And Deco Art knows all about crackle. Here is the visual of the flag for Culebra, Puerto Rico, which can be used as a YouTube thumbnail. Now, let's move on to the reading about Culebra, Puerto Rico. Culebra, Puerto Rico, an island of tranquility and natural splendor. Culebra is a small island municipality located off the east coast of Puerto Rico, renowned for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and serene environment. Established in 1880, Culebra offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the mainland, attracting visitors with its natural beauty and relaxed atmosphere. Geography and Natural Attractions Culebra is part of an archipelago that includes 23 smaller islands and caves, with the main island being the largest and most developed. The island's geography is characterized by rolling hills, sandy beaches, and vibrant coral reefs. One of the most famous beaches in Culebra is Flamenco Beach, often ranked among the best beaches in the world. With its white sand, turquoise waters, and excellent snorkeling opportunities, Flamenco Beach is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Culebra. Other notable natural attractions include the Culebra National Wildlife Refuge, which covers a significant portion of the island and its surrounding caves. The refuge is home to diverse wildlife, including sea turtles, seabirds, and various marine species. Visitors can explore the refuge's trails, beaches, and protected areas to experience the island's rich biodiversity. Cultural Significance Culebra's cultural heritage is closely tied to its history and maritime traditions. The island has a small but vibrant community that celebrates its unique identity through various festivals and events. The Fiestas Patronales de San Ildefonso is an important annual celebration held in honor of the town's patron saint, St. Ildefonsis. This festival features religious processions, music, dancing, and local cuisine, reflecting the community's strong sense of faith and tradition. Art and crafts are also significant aspects of Calabra's cultural life. Local artisans create beautiful handmade items, including jewelry, pottery, and woven goods, often inspired by the island's natural surroundings. Here is the visual of the flag for Culebra, Puerto Rico, which can be used as a YouTube thumbnail. Now let's move on to the reading about Culebra, Puerto Rico. Culebra, Puerto Rico, an island of tranquility an and island. natural splendor. Culebra is a small island municipality located off the east coast of Puerto Rico, renowned for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and serene environment. Established in 1880, Culebra offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the mainland, attracting visitors with its natural beauty and relaxed atmosphere. Geography and Natural Attractions Culebra is part of an archipelago that includes 23 archipelago. smaller islands and caves, with the main island being the largest and most developed. The island's geography is characterized by rolling hills, sandy beaches, and vibrant coral reefs. One of the most famous beaches in Culebra. I'm gonna pause this for a second, right? Um, for station identification. Uh, we are at Terracotta World, trademark. Uh, I'm painting Culebra, the island, and what seems to be happening is uh, I'm having a sensory experience and it sometimes happens with blue paint, sometimes it happens with yellow paint, but when you take a terracotta pot and you put it on a terracotta world and you sort of have like the right speed for the right pressure on the brush, cause you're just laying in one color and you're doing it slowly because you're thinking of the people of Calibra and how they suffered through uh, hurricanes and how they overcame the depressive nature of the United States military 
uh, how they overcame and became the most beautiful place in Puerto Rico. The most beautiful beach in Puerto Rico is in Calibra, right? It's a waste, it's a nuclear waste site for American military apparatus. <laughs> but we're laying some yellow on this baby. And I'm getting some sensory stuff. You see how I went bad? That's because, like, you go bad, right? Like, what can you do, right? Uh, but, like, do, you know, do you have to stay bad? That's the thing. No, I don't have to stay bad. Is Flamenco Beach, often ranked among the best beaches in the world. With its white sand, turquoise waters, and excellent snorkeling opportunities, Flamenco Beach is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Culebra. Other notable natural attractions include the Culebra National Wildlife Refuge, which covers a significant portion of the island and its surrounding caves. The refuge is home to diverse wildlife, including sea turtles, seabirds, and various marine species. Visitors can explore the refuge's trails, beaches, and protected areas to experience the island's rich biodiversity. Cultural significance. Culebra's cultural heritage is closely tied to its history and maritime traditions. The island has a small but vibrant community that celebrates its unique identity through various festivals and events. The Fiestas Patronales de San Ildefonso is an important annual celebration held in honor of the town's patron saint, St. Ildefonsus. This festival features religious processions, music, dancing, and local cuisine, reflecting the community's strong sense of faith and tradition. Art and crafts are also significant aspects of Culebra's cultural life. Local artisans create beautiful handmade items, including jewelry, pottery, and woven goods, often inspired by the island's natural surroundings. These crafts are displayed and sold at local markets, providing a glimpse into the creativity and talent of the Culebra community. Economic activities. The economy of Culebra is primarily based on tourism, which plays a crucial role in the island's development and sustainability. Visitors from around the world come to Culebra to enjoy its pristine beaches, snorkeling and diving spots, and tranquil atmosphere. The hospitality industry, including hotels, guest houses, and restaurants, thrives on the influx of tourists, providing employment opportunities and supporting the local economy. In addition to tourism, Culebra has a small but significant fishing industry. Local fishermen catch a variety of seafood, which is sold in markets and served in restaurants across the island. The combination of tourism and fishing ensures a balanced and dynamic local economy, supporting the livelihoods of Culebra's residents. Pride, pride and identity. The people of Culebra take great pride in their island, celebrating its natural beauty cultural heritage, and close-knit community. The flag of Calabria symbolizes this pride, featuring elements that represent the island's history, maritime traditions, and stunning landscapes. Here is the, vi here is the visual of the flag for Culebra, Puerto Rico, which can be used as a YouTube thumbnail. Now let's move on to the reading about Culebra, Puerto Rico. Culebra, Puerto Rico, an island of tranquility and natural splendor. Culebra is a small island municipality located off the east coast of Puerto Rico, renowned for its stunning beaches, crystal clear waters, and serene environment. Established in 1880, Culebra offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of the mainland, attracting visitors with its natural beauty and relaxed atmosphere. Geography and Natural Attractions Culebra is part of an archipelago that includes 23 smaller islands and caves with the main island being the largest and most developed. The island's geography is characterized by rolling hills, sandy beaches, and vibrant coral reefs. One of the most famous beaches in Culebra is Flamenco Beach, often ranked among the best beaches in the world. With its white sand, turquoise waters, and excellent snorkeling opportunities, Flamenco Beach is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Culebra. Other notable natural attractions include the Culebra National Wildlife Refuge, which covers a significant portion of the island and its surrounding caves. The refuge is home to diverse wildlife, including sea turtles, seabirds, and various marine species. Visitors can explore the refuge's trails, beaches, and protected areas to experience the island's rich biodiversity. Cultural Significance 
Culebra's cultural heritage is closely tied to its history and maritime traditions. The island has a small but vibrant community that celebrates its unique identity through various festivals and events. The Fiestas Patronales de San Ildefonso is an important annual celebration held in honor of the town's patron saint, St. Ildefonsus. This festival features religious processions, music, Ladies and gentlemen, I am Joan Igro, renowned terracotta pot artist. And what I have here for you today is the island of Calibre. It's not just one island, it's in a series of islands. It has the most beautiful beach in the entire world, right? Like Calibra. So let's just say you're coming to Puerto Rico, right? What are you gonna do in Puerto Rico? You're gonna go to the most beautiful beach, which is in Calibra, right? It's awesome, look at it. It's, it's so beautiful, right? You know, this is one of those episodes where when you when you feel something, it, it, you know, it, the art, the, the, the sensory Kalido art that occurs uh, on occasion with me, because uh, I, I do it a lot, right? So for me to, for me to really get into that sensory thing, like um, I, all the time with my wife, right? Uh, all the time with my wife. I, 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 I whirl my wife a pot, right? A uh, terracotta pot. And I'm like, I think to myself, you know, so I'm whirling this for her, right? And it, and it comes out beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Nigro at Terracotta World. And this is Calibra, Puerto Rico. And remember, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching the the uh, program, right? Um, we have the World Podcast. Uh, what do I tell my family that, that, that listens to me 24 hours a day, seven days a week? I say, hey, if, you, if you're going to show me some love, right? Uh, put the world po the the world w h i r l e d the world podcast at terracotta world go to terracotta world.com hit the youtube button right be here right be right where we are and it'll be like hello i'm Joan Igro at terracotta world but when you charge your phone at night charge it to me right that's what people do they charge their phones and it gives people hours and money I'm doing this for free, so let's have corporate America. Let's have corporate America pay me, right? You know, pay me for what? Like, how much money do people need? Pay me to buy products so I can bring the terracotta world into Puerto Rico, right? Eventually, I'm going to show you the analytic side of um, all the YouTube stuff, right? Like, uh, the stuff we're doing is beautiful, the terracotta world is beautiful. You can see it's got a smiley face speed control. Um, it goes fast. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keep the you know, the new oh oh crap! See the faster you go, the more it squirts everywhere and it's green, right? It's probably everywhere, right? It's all over the the shutters. It's all it's on me. I love you, Calibra. I love you, Puerto Rico. And remember, the next step is the flora of Calibra. So they're being gifted, all these beautiful terracotta pots are being gifted to the Puerto Rico Guide, the PR Garden Guide, at the PR Garden Guide. 
And I'm going to say it one more time. Subscribe. You will see the journey of this part, as well as all 78 municipalities. They'll be world. They'll all be perfect. You're perfect. You're the most beautiful part in Puerto Rico. Right? That's who you are. Right? You're Calibra. Right? Calibra! Andale Calibra! Anyway, the, the, the deal is, right, that you're not the most beautiful. Right? I'm not the most handsome. Right? Uh, the premise to the terracotta world. I strap mine down, right? You don't have to strap it down. You can see you can paint just fine, right? Uh, I got splatter shields that I sell, splatter card guards for just this proposal, <laughs> right? Uh, but we had fun, right? We're working on the terracotta world. I invented it with a smiley face speed control. Right there, smiley face speed control. Reverse and switch. Right there. That's off. This won't do nothing in the off position. Center off. And then if you whirl the other way, I only whirl one way. But if you whirl that way, because you're a lefty or like that's what you want to do, like cool, man. But I whirl that way. That's what this middle switch is for. So what we have is we have the Terracotta World base unit. And then we have the pot assembly kit. And we get a four inch terracotta pot and you put it all together. The whole assembly, the trademarked patented assembly is called the Terracotta World. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Nigro at Terracotta World. Renowned terracotta pot artist. And for you this evening, it's, it's not really evening, but um, for you this evening, I world the beautiful island of Calibra. I'm just gonna like take go over there and I go a little slower. I'm gonna get the control for the light. Yeah, I'll get it over there and then I'm just gonna fade away. Right? I'm gonna roll the credits, me.